Hey guys, what's going on? This is Kyle from Projection Hub, and today I'm gonna to be showing off this new business plan writer custom GPT um, that I built um, just recently with the access from OpenAI, Open um, adding the ability for anybody to create, you know, a custom rule set for a GPT. And you know, I think eventually we hope there will be a, a marketplace and a store to be able to download those and all of that kind of stuff and the good things that can come from it. But from right now, you know, we're just enjoying. Um, seeing what it can do and what it's like to create it with some you know custom rules um and given our experience with what we do at projection hub which is primarily helping small businesses create financial projections for loan applications business plans um, pitch decks you know you name it that's what we do a lot of um, something we see a lot of with our clients is reviewing their business plans and helping you know create projections for their business plans um, we even help produce right um, writing business plans. Um, but we've been playing around with a little bit um, by creating this. One thing that we've encouraged people to avoid doing up to this point is having, you know, ChatGPT write the entire business plan um, without giving it really critical information, just because if you're creating, having it create it from scratch, um, it can only make up, you know, so much that's going to be accurate and relevant to your business. And so, um, but it can do a really good job if you give it details about your business and your business plan and you let it do a little bit more of the elaborating um, and the organizing. And so that's really what this, this custom GPT is going to do. And I'm going to demonstrate it for you here um, and, you know, show you how, how it works and a, a couple other tips and tricks. And so one thing to kind of a few disclaimers for this is it's not going to be a super fast process. Like I, I want to encourage you just like writing a business plan normally, you know, by hand takes a lot of time, a lot of research and all of that. This process will still take you some time if you really want the outcome to be good. Um, but it will do a lot of the heavy lifting of, you know, creating the full business plan for you, which is great. And so, um, this custom GP GPT has a few rules to make it a little bit easier, a little bit more engaging. And so I'm going to, um, do a little demonstration for you here. So first of all, I want to point out this note here, tip. Whenever you're typing in here, um, this goes for other softwares too. If a lot of times if you hold shift and then click enter, it'll just start a new line, but it won't submit your message. So it's a little bit hard right now to limit the GPT from saying, Hey, if I give you an answer, you know, wait till I give you more information before you start writing. Um, and so that trick will allow you to kind of Put all your answers in there in what in one time um, before you know the GPT kind of prematurely is off to the races. So that's just a quick little tip. But first, we're gonna do this nice little chat starter. Help me write my business. Help me write my business plan, and it should give us just an initial basic set of some questions. And so that's really what you're gonna see with this process is it's going to ask you questions and then gain an understanding of your business and ask you deeper questions to really try and get out of you the important details of your business and then it will actually help you start to write the business which is really helpful okay so we got nice five basic questions that are just trying to understand what our business is what our business does and i am going to answer them for you you know using um some information over here all right now i've, I've answered its questions originally and we're going to see what it comes back with here. So I kind of, you know, our bakery, we have a bakery, it's called Sweet Traditions. Um, we've been selling a variety of baked goods. And so I basically just answered, answered these questions. And we're gonna see it here. So it's saying, thanks for providing the basic information. Now it understands a little bit more. You're gonna ask some more specific questions to further understand the business. Now for this process to really work well, you're gonna see like, wow, this is asking a lot of questions. This is gonna take me some time to write. And yes, that's the point. And that's what's great about this tool is it's gonna ask these questions and you can leave it here and then you can spend time writing these, right? Write them in a Google doc, write them in a Word doc, answer those questions, you know, even if it's only a sentence for each one, create an answer for those and then bring all that, paste it in here and then it'll, you know, go again, it'll be another round. And this kind of takes away the painstaking process of sitting in front of an empty document and just having to write from scratch a business plan. And instead, this is going to help you figure out, you know, what information is actually important to my business plan. What, what about my business, about my, about my ideas is actually important. 
and you can focus on, it's a lot easier to just answer questions than it is to format the entire business plan. So we'll let it do the heavy lifting, okay? So now I'm gonna take this set, answer these questions, and then we'll, we'll see what happens next. All right, now you can see that I clearly spent some time answering these questions outside of the document, right? Now you could write them in here. Again, um, just one disclaimer, it's really hard to kind of give this limitation to, to the custom GPT right now, but if you just write and answer those questions one at a time in here, it's gonna try and start answering, you know, or sending the next thing before maybe you've had a chance to answer all the questions. Um, and so, okay, now you can see it's been satisfied with our answers so far. So I guess one, one thing to point out is just the more information you give it right there, probably the better the output's gonna be. So right now what it's doing is it's creating the outline of the business plan. So it's not writing the whole business plan yet. It's basically just gonna say like, here's how I wanna structure your business plan. Um, does this look comprehensive to you? Would you like to proceed with the actual writing the business plan based on this structure? Okay, so let's just give it a quick once over. And I've kind of told it to, to include these general um, sections, but it's coming up with the subsections, um, which is really cool. And then let's see what it does when we try to write it. So I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. Yes, that looks great. Let's proceed and see what happens. Now, one thing I've, I've also instructed it to do, we'll see how good of a job it does, is to write it section by section, okay? Because if you have, sometimes if you have, you know, ChatGPT or something like that, write the entire business plan in one go, it's gonna be pretty short and pretty sweet. Um, you know, like maybe too, too short, not enough detail, it's a little overwhelming. And so the rule set um, right now is to, to have it write one section at a time so it can really think about it, give it, do it the best job it can. And one thing we're not gonna do in this video is I'm not gonna read the entire business plan word for word to make sure this, you know, makes sense with my fictitious example for a business. But you can see like, you know, it did a pretty nice job writing through that. And the more specifics you can give, prices, locations, um, you know, dates, those kinds of details, names, it's gonna include that, which is gonna be great. Okay, so here we see, um, this sets the tone for the entire plan. Let's review it. Should I proceed with the next section, the company description? Looks great. Please proceed. This is working great right now. It's all going to plan, but one thing you'll keep, have to keep in mind with using a tool like this, and if you have any experience using ChatGPT, you'll probably be aware of this, but sometimes it can just fail. It can be a network issue, it can get tired of writing, whatever it is, it might just fail. Um, so another reason I like how this is splitting up in sections is if that happens, you know, you're not losing all of your progress, you can just have it retry that one, right? You can refresh the browser, you can, you can do whatever. If it would write the whole thing and then fail 80% of the way through, and you have to try again, it's gonna, it's gonna write it a different way. So I like how this does it section by section. This also gives you the ability to say like, if you're, you know, if this is your business and the details really, really matter, you read through and you're like, well, that doesn't make sense. Like I didn't tell it to do that. Or, you know, that's a hallucination is what they like to call it. Then you can just give that feedback and say like, let's try this section again. Um, that one sentence didn't make sense or let's add in that detail. And you can do that section by section. So let's, let's go ahead and keep moving along say please proceed now again i think if we go back and look at our outline it was oh, past it seven sections and so um you know you're gonna you're gonna be doing this for the sake of the video right you know this you might want to spend an hour with this process which is a whole lot faster again than writing a business plan from scratch but what i would do is i would i would take this i would copy and i paste it and I put it in a Google Doc and I'll actually, I'll show you what that's writing. Um, over on projectionup.com, I'll throw a link in the description. We actually have a bunch of free business plan templates for various different businesses and industries. And you, showing you the bakery one, this is what it looks like. And it is a pre-written um, fictitious example, structured. You know, it's not gonna be exactly the same as what, you know, the custom GPT is doing right now. But you can kind of see, and you could like you could grab this outline and you could paste your information in there, right? It's already formatted and organized. It, it can help you kind of get that in order. 
um, just to give you an idea of, of how that goes. All right, so we finished up our market analysis. Looks good. Please continue. I'm curious to see what's gonna happen when we get to the financial section. The one thing I might mention is we have many other different videos that actually talk about industry by industry, how to write a good business plan for them and how to make them lender ready. Um, and I would encourage you, you know, if you really are doing a bakery, go watch our bakery video on how to write a business plan. Um, and that, you know, a big part of making your business plan as good as possible, for the example's sake, we're just gonna have a keep writing, is to use specific data, right? So if I copied and pasted all of this, put it in a Google Doc, and I handed that to my lender, I mean, it is a business plan. I think it's probably a better business plan than, you know, even, you know, I used to be an SBA lender for several years and read a lot of business plans. This is probably gonna do a better job of writing a business plan. Um, but the specifics matter, the the research matters, and, you know, chat GPTs or a custom business plan writer GPT isn't gonna pick up on those specifics unless you are specifying to put those things in. So in this example of the section by section, you know, when it's done, I might be able to say, you know, you did a great job, but make sure you incorporate these details, right? And that would be a good thing to do. All right, so we are moving on to the financials. And this is probably gonna be a pretty difficult part. We'll see how it does. Based on the rule set that I gave it, you probably wouldn't want to use GPT to create your entire projections because it's not an ex it's an expert at writing um, language, but it's not going to be an expert at you know spreadsheets, building formulas, that kind of thing. It's doing a good job at outlining what you should have in your financial projections. It's pro it's just not probably going to be able to do them for you. All right, so one quick plug if you've made it this far with me is over on. Um, Projection Hub, you can actually come and we've got financial projection templates for over a hundred plus different industries. And so for example's sake, if I was to go bakery, right? I can see that we've got a bakery projection template. I've even got it pulled open right here. And what this does, when I, you know, it, these blue input tabs, you only edit these blue boxes here, things like your menu. So it's industry specific, right? So everyone is gonna be custom to your industry. And then it's gonna calculate and create all of these financial statements for you, which is exactly what your lender or your investor is gonna want. So that's just a quick plug. You can find a link down to that in the description below. There's a 15% discount code, but I'll even put a bigger discount code down than that in the, in, the, in the description for you. And just to show you how that's incorporated, here's a bakery business plan as an example. And you know, these were all made with that template. We've got a video guide for every single template, free support, you name it. So anyways, back to the regular scheduled programming. That's just a quick input is I think this detail, you could probably still include it in your business plan, but you're gonna have to demonstrate real projection. So it's probably just gonna round this out, which I think we have what, maybe one or two sections left. I think this might be the last section. So let's see how, let's see how it finishes up. So again, this GPT, I will, uh, I think we can link it down in the description below. It's, it's, we're in a little bit of limbo on like how we share these tools right now. Um, but it's pretty cool, it's pretty exciting. I imagine it's gonna get a lot better, a lot quicker, and we would love to have you use this for, you know, for free, obviously, to, to write your business plan. Um, and yeah, I think it's a really nifty tool and will save a lot of time and really improve business plans. But again, I can't emphasize enough is use this as your writer, don't use it as your brain, your, your, your creative ideator. Um, you know, take your ideas for your business your concepts for your business, your details about your business, and feed it. It, you know, go through this answer its questions at the beginning. Because um, again, your this business plan is only going to be as good as those questions I'm answering. Um, and then yeah, wrap all this up in a nice formatted business plan, and you should be good to go. And please feel free to reach out to us at support at projectionhub.com um, if we can help you out with the projections. Again, we've got all those templates. We even do custom financial modeling. Um, free support, complimentary projection reviews, you know, you name it, uh, we would love to help you out. So I wish you the best of luck if you use this tool. Um, have fun, enjoy it. Let us know if you have any questions.